This is SCACsports.com, and joining us today from Irving, Texas, is the SCAC Men's Basketball Player of the Week, Mark Promberger of the University of Dallas, joining us here this afternoon. And Mark, congratulations on the honor. We appreciate you joining us this afternoon. Hey, Shane. Thanks for having me. Mark, let's start with this. Uh, last weekend, you guys had a couple road contests against Shriner and Trinity. You guys started the weekend off with a 10-point win over Shriner on their home floor. You had 19 points in that contest. Tell me a little bit about that game. Uh, well, they beat us early in the year on our court, um, so we, we're really looking forward to going down to their place and getting another chance to play them, especially in their new stadium. Uh, we didn't come out as well as we wanted to, um, but... We definitely had a really good second half against them. We've kind of, in the second half of the season, changed our mentality to playing five-minute games, and we definitely won the first five minutes of that second half, which was huge for us, and that was a big turning point of that game. Mark, as y'all moved on, you took on Trinity on Saturday, a team that has uh, really kind of picked it up lately, really playing well despite not despite them not making the SCAC tournament, they were able to pull out a win. You had a great game yourself, 20 points, 10 rebounds. Uh, what happened in that game? What, what kind of set you back in that one? Uh, well, they came to play, and we were a little shocked by that, I think. Uh, but I think it just proves that this is a deep conference, and pretty much anyone can win against anyone else on any given day. Um, they haven't had as good a season as they've had the last three, obviously, since they've won the SCAC last three years. But... Uh, they're a team that is never, you can't look past them ever, especially at home. Um, and we will hopefully learn our lesson for that as we go on the rest of the season in the conference. And, and you know, despite that, Mark, uh, this team has been playing very well. You've won five out of your last seven games, and among those five wins includes wins over Texas Lutheran and Centenary, who are going to be two of the top teams in the SCAC tournament, and also the number three team, which is Southwestern. So you guys have picked up some huge wins along the way. And, of course, it, you'll play Austin College for Senior Day, uh, a senior day for yourself, uh, this upcoming weekend, as well as Arlington Baptist in non-conference. If you defeat Austin College, you guys will jump to the number four seed. You, you already know you're going to play Colorado College, obviously, either one way or another. But, you know, what would that mean to you guys to kind of bounce back the way you have and be able to grab that number four seed? Um, it would be huge just because it would mean that we took care of business this last week of the regular season. Um, and we definitely want some momentum. We don't want to stumble into the playoffs. Uh, we stumbled in the middle of the season, and I think we lost three in a row kind of midway through. Um, and that's not how we want to enter, enter conference play. Um, we want to come with our best. We want to defend our home court. And we, it's hard not to look forward to Colorado since we know we're going to play them already, but we need to use these next two games against Arlington Baptist tomorrow and Austin College this weekend um, just to really tighten things up and make sure we're ready to go. This season, the University of Dallas is 7-2 on your home floor. Uh, you guys have been have been very tough at home. As I just mentioned, you've beaten some really good teams on your home floor, including TLU and Centenary and, and some other good teams uh, throughout the season. And, as you know, the SCAC tournament next week will be in Irving, Texas, on your home floor. What's the excitement level among the team to be able to, one, play, play postseason basketball on your home floor? Oh, so excited. I mean, we started off the year with several away games. We didn't get to play a home game until late December, so we didn't like playing on the road, even though we were taking care of business then. Um, but we've shown that we've been a good team at home, and we've also showed other teams that our fans are loud, and they can make a big difference for us. Uh, two weeks ago, we played Centenary in an overtime game, and our, fr our fans were so loud, and it definitely gave us a huge boost in that game, especially in overtime. Um, I'd like to think we could have won without it, but they definitely, definitely gave us a boost, and hopefully we'll have them for a long weekend coming up, uh, and hopefully get three wins and win the SCAC tournament. That's been our goal since the preseason, so... The University of Dallas will finish the season up with Arlington Baptist uh, tomorrow, and then they will take on Austin College this weekend for Senior Day, and then they'll be back at home against Colorado College as either the four seed or the five seed uh, next 
Friday, February 27th for the SCAC Basketball Tournament. This is your SCAC Basketball, Men's Basketball Player of the Week. It's senior forward Mark Promberger of the University of Dallas. And Mark, we're going to have a little fun here. We're going to play Take 5. We're going to ask you five random questions. I want you to answer them to the best of your ability. I'm going to start with this. What's your favorite professional team? I see you're from Phoenix, Arizona. Who's your favorite team? Definitely the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, I follow them by far the most closely than any team. I love the Phoenix Suns. I love Dimeback. Definitely a hometown fan. But the Cardinals are by far my favorite. So you get, you're going to find them a quarterback one day so they can, you know, be pretty good again? I hope so. I, Carson Palmer, he tore his ACL this year, and it broke my heart. I, I tore my ACL last year, so I felt for him. Um, but we just signed Fitzgerald back today on a new contract, so things are looking up. There you go, there you go. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? Are you going for a little dessert afterwards? Which one are you going with? Purest, just straight vanilla, maybe some chocolate chips. I don't, I don't really like chocolate ice cream that much, just vanilla. Okay, so just keeping it simple, right? Absolutely. If you could have any superpower in the world, what superpower would you choose? Uh, that's a hard one. Um, I think I'd like to say invisibility, but I don't think I could pass up flying. Flying has got to be the best, just most useful. Yeah, I, I, I said that's probably been a popular popular answer among everybody. Everybody seems to want to fly around, uh, but I can't say I can't say I blame you guys either. All right, fill in the blank. My head coach, and I'll even since since we know Matt Gron pretty well, my head coach or assistant coach, whichever one, is really good at blank. So my head coach or assistant coach is really good at blank. Here's the caveat, though. We know they're good coaches. We know they can coach. So I don't want the simple answer of coaching. I'm not going to accept that. Give me something they're really good at outside of basketball. Uh, well, I mean, Samples is a pretty good golfer from what I hear. I've never actually got to play with him. Um, but he's coached that, too, so maybe that doesn't count. Uh, hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to say, I'm trying to flatter him. Um, I don't know. We it sounds like a rumor. We used to have a uh, uh, Nate uh, Nate Wilson on the team, and he was a big time dancer, the YouTube sensation. And we've seen we've seen samples do a few renditions of himself, and they're they're not terrible. They're pretty enjoyable. Yeah. Okay. There you go. We can we 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 can count that. We can count that. All right. I'll get you out in the final one. Final one here. Um. Baseball, softball season's just getting started. Spring season's coming around the corner. So, if you played a sport, such as baseball or softball, and you had a walk-up song, you could choose any walk-up song, what walk-up song would you choose? Well, this is not a hard one. Uh, I'm not a, I don't listen to Eminem a lot in general, but when I play sports, Till I Collapse by Eminem is one of my go-to pre-game songs, so I'd probably just stay safe and go with that. There you go. This has been SCAC Men's Basketball Player of the Week, Senior Ford, Mark Promberger of the University of Dallas Crusaders. Mark, again, congratulations on the honor. We appreciate you joining us. Uh, good luck this weekend, and we will see you guys next weekend in Irving for the SCAC tournament. Thanks, James.